I love Eel Pie Island. My name is John Perry. This is Eel Pie Island. Eel Pie is one of the few residential islands on the River Thames. Eel Pie is derived from the eel that swims in the River Thames and history has it that uh, the Sovereign was entitled to the first eel pie meal each year and of course in the days of Henry VIII and so on the Sovereign used to row up and down the river not himself but with a with a team of minions and uh, he would stop at the island and he would claim his eel pie. Many moons ago there was a hotel on the island. Dickens of course came to the hotel, wrote Little Dorrit. Well the hotel was a residential one in the, in, in the days of Dickens but sometime in the 50, 50s or 60s the, the music took off um, and that's when the likes of Pete Townsend, The Who, Ackerbilk they arrived. The Rolling Stones, I believe, played their very first gig here on, on the island. In fact, when Rod Stewart started, he was so bad that people used to beg him to go away. But uh, you name it, they, they started off here or they came here. It was a hippie scene. A, a lot of people instructed their kids that they were not to come to Eel Pie Island. And then, unfortunately, the dear old hotel burnt down, so the music disappeared. I mean, you meet elderly chaps walking along the, the, the towpath trying to find the, their lost youth. You know, they want to regain their youth. Where is the, where is the wonderful ho hotel? And it, but it, it's gone. The magic is still here, but it's not a musical magic. You can hear a little bit of noise in the background with people working on boats. Um, there, has, there has always been a working boatyard on the island. And during the Second World War, they were making motor torpedo boats here. Um, and the, the island has been famous for its boatyard as much as it has for its music. It's part of living on the river. We've also got some lovely little studios and you have an arty crafty community. There are no cars coming down the road because we've got no cars on the island. The bridge will only take pedestrians, which is a godsend. You have to carry everything by hand, but uh, makes your arms longer. And it's a very, it's a very close community. I mean, if, if somebody dies, we always go to their funeral. Um, if somebody gets married, we all know about it. If someone becomes pregnant, we all know about it. Um, we spent a long time looking for this island and uh, it's a unique, mysterious place to live. 